Hey everybody, this is Chris from KRC Creations. I have another DIY project for you today. Um, with winter being here, um, it's really cold outside, as you know. And a lot of times we cover everything from our hands, our feet, our body to keep warm. But most often times our face is completely exposed. And because it's exposed, it is subject to, you know, the dry air, the cold winds and everything. And then... Our face gets dry and brittle and things like that, but it doesn't have to be that way. Um, masks are, uh, face masks are an awesome thing to do during the winter season, as well as any season, but more so during the winter, because face mask helps to provide moisture back into your face and protect it from the harsh weather. So, a lot of people don't do face masks because they see the price of them and they're like, oh God, no, I'll just put some moisturizer on it. But well, that's good too, but the extra benefit from a mask can be absolutely great. But you shouldn't let that, that price tag discourage you because you can make your own face mask with what you have in your own home. So I'm going to show you how to do a very good cocoa honey face mask. It's absolutely wonderful. You I, Trust me, you're going to love this face mask. Let me tell you what you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need um, a bowl and a spoon, a tablespoon for measure, a container or jar to hold your finished product, a lid. It needs to be airtight, so a lid for that. You're also going to need, um, let's start with the ingredients, and I'll tell you why. I chose these ingredients for this mask. You're going to need extra virgin olive oil or olive oil. I think extra virgin olive oil is the best. With olive oil, olive oil has great anti-inflammatory properties and it's also elite, it has great antioxidants and it is a great moisturizing oil and it's not as greasy as some other oil. So you're going to need some olive oil. You're also going to need some oatmeal. I like to use all natural whole grain oat milk. Milk, you can use it in its actual in its grain formula, on its grain consistency, like that. Or you can ground it up. Um, I chose to ground mine, and you can ground it in a food processor or in your blender so that it's fine and um, great for exfoliating. And oatmeal is as I said it's a natural exfoliant and it has natural lubricating fats in it so it's great for moisture and skin protection so this is good for um, taking that dead layer of skin off your face thereby exposing you know that healthy skin underneath so that's your oatmeal you're also going to need honey um, I like natural raw honey don't not that stuff with extra stuff in it um, Honey is a humectant, so it pulls moisture from the air directly to your skin. So that's a great um, 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 ingredient as well. And it also has um, is a great antibacterial agent, and it, it helps to treat minor irritations. And you're also going to need honey, I mean, sorry, cocoa powder. You can use Hershey's, you can use Toll House, um, I have Hershey's here. Natural unsweetened um, cocoa is the best for this. Um, so, cocoa alleviates skin damage, helps to alleviate skin damage, and it's also known to um, kind of slow down the aging process, which is always a plus. Um, so that's the cocoa. And you're also going to need sour cream or yogurt unflavored yogurt uh, Greek yogurt is really really good uh, I have sour cream right now I don't have any yogurt so I'm gonna show you this with sour cream with the yogurt and the sour cream they have lactic acid in them they also um, have enzymes in yogurt and sour, sour cream that's very good for your skin it, the yogurt and the sour cream helps to hydrate and soothe the skin so lactic acid has been known to be a great exfoliant um, in terms of not that scrubby kind of thing. It kind of, the, the acid in there peels off the dead layers without all the um, kind of uh, manipulation from uh, scrubbing. So that is great as well. So this is all you're going to need. You probably have all this in your home. And if you don't, you can run out and get whatever you need and still be able to use it for other stuff. So it's not just for your mask. You can use it for other things in your home. So 
Let me show you how we're going to do this. You're going to need, I'm going to start with um, the oatmeal. You're going to need one and a half teaspoons of oatmeal. One. I'm not really, you know, when I do stuff like this, I just really, because it's for me, um, I don't really go crazy with the measures, but with everything else, I'm like fanatic about measuring things to their right quantity. But for this, it's okay. One and a half teaspoons of that. You're also going to need one table, one and a half tablespoons of that tablespoon. You're also going to need one tablespoon of cocoa. Everything goes right is a one bowl kind of process. Then you're going to need um, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. One tablespoon of honey. I love to put the honey in after the olive oil because it just falls right out and you don't have the stickiness all left on there and you have to scoop right out. Just a little trick, tip. Um, and then because we're going to reuse this, I'm going to clean this off before I scoop out my sour cream. Give me one second. Okay, so we have our sour cream. And we're going to put uh, two tablespoons of this in it. And then at this point, all you have to do, let me put this in the sink, all you have to do is stir it up. Get it all mixed in, everything mixed in lovely. like the smell of it, the cocoa and the sour cream. Now you can use the whole oats as I said, um, but I like mine's the ground because it's a little finer and it's that big flakes on your face. So let me show you how to use this when you um, tell you how to use this when it's all done and you get ready to um, put it on your face. All you do is take a little bit and um, put it on your face in circular motions. Um, just that's the effect of helping the oatmeal do its work. And put it all over your face. Don't get it in your eyes because that's not good. But put it all over your face. You can even put it on your neck, which I do too because that's exposed as well. Some people use um, scarves to cover that, but I put it on my neck as well. And then you want to let it stay on your face for 10 to 20 minutes. I am always a person that goes in the middle, so I keep it on for 15 minutes. Um, and just rinse it off with, um, a, you know, with water and um, a washcloth to get the extra oatmeal and things off. And then you're done. Afterwards, you probably won't even need to do a moisturizer. 
I do my mask at night. So I do use a moisturizer. I just use my daily moisturizer after I use this because I really don't need my night moisturizer, which is heavier. Just in, in very, very minimal. So small, in fact, that it's like, why do I do it? Because it's not that much. Uh, and you're good. You're going to see an absolute difference in your skin. It's going to be like, oh my God. It's going to feel soft. It's going to be moisturized. And you're going to absolutely love it. And you're going to have the effects from this for a couple of days. So I do my mask twice a week. Um, and this mixture, there's no preservatives in it. And as you see, everything's completely natural and edible and food grade and everything like that. So it's natural. Um, there's no preservatives in it. So you don't have to worry about the effects of the preservatives. And this will last up to three weeks in your refrigerator. So this is a good amount for three weeks. It's even a good amount to share with a girlfriend um, so that, you know, give them a nice treat and show them how to use it to pass on the good um, natures of skin health. So there you have it. And you just plunk it right into your container. Now I label mine <laughs> because, you know, I put it in. I do have a soaping refrigerator in my soaping room. And I use it in my, leave this in my soaping room, but just in case, I label this because it looks yummy. It actually looks like um, chocolate with nuts or something in it, and it smells yummy. You don't want your family to come on it and eat it because it won't look, it won't taste yummy. Now, it won't kill them or anything because it's all edible products, but they won't like the taste of it. So... There you have it, my latest DIY project, um, and this is your Cocoa Honey face mask. It's good for three weeks, and um, you're going to absolutely love it. You don't have to spend the price for a high-end department store counter face mask, and this is comparable, if not better, than some of those out on the market. Try it. Let me know what you think, and I think you're going to absolutely love this, and it's going to be a mainstay in your summer, I mean, your winter skincare regimen, okay? Thanks, guys. Bye.